Hi, my name is Kara Hansvik and I'm a dancer with American Contemporary Ballet. Earlier this month, our artistic director, Lincoln Jones, wrote a letter to you all, and I've written one as well that I would love to share. One of my favorite choreographers, George Balanchine, liked to talk about the life story of the butterfly. It starts as a caterpillar, munching, munching, saying all the while, I want to be a butterfly. On it goes, munching and munching, still saying, I want to be a butterfly. In time, it spins a cocoon, still saying, I want to be a butterfly. Then one day it comes out and it flies around and it says, I'm a butterfly, I'm so happy, I am free. And then, bang, the butterfly is dead. <laughs> but while it was flying around, it did not worry about what would happen. It enjoyed every minute of freedom and it celebrated its butterfly self. It always makes me a little teary because it reminds me how long you work to become a professional dancer versus how long you get to be one. Lincoln's letter also talked about right now, and I'm writing because this is my right now. My time is a butterfly. Every dancer knows this time isn't forever, but that makes it all the more wonderful, all the more urgent to give everything in this moment. I am asking you to support ACB because it is a place that asks, no, insists that I give it my all as an artist, that I dance dangerously. It demands risks. When I'm exhausted, my ankle is on fire, I'm beyond nervous about a role. Risks are hard, but all of us have seen the results when we take them. As dancers, we strive for perfection, but we know that Lincoln would rather have us fail as long as we fail spectacularly. I have always had this irrational desire to make people fall in love with ballet. After two years of dancing professionally, I joined ACB to be a part of a company of people with that same desire. I knew it wasn't as established of a company where I could play it safe, but I've promised myself that I will never be the reason somebody says ballet is boring. During the pandemic, I realized my time as a ballerina could be shorter than I even imagined. And when we returned, after a lot of hugging and crying, I was so moved and proud of how hard everyone had worked on their own to get back and give everything again. There has been a spark, an undeniable spark that's been ignited in all of us. And I've never seen a group of dancers who love what they do more. And it's never been more obvious than right now. I don't want my butterfly time to end, but even if it did tomorrow, I would be more fulfilled as an artist than I ever could have imagined because of this company and what all of us are giving to it, to each other and to everyone who supports us by buying a ticket or making a donation. My time to do this may be fleeting, but ACB has made my fleeting moment grander. And with your help, it will be there to do the same thing for butterflies who come next. Every day in class, on stage, I fight the instinct to make things easier because when I do, ballet becomes something completely different. You'll see it in the dancers right in front of you this season. You'll hear it in the musicians just feet away. What we're creating, the value of it, lies only in that moment. Nothing is more pure, more fleeting, or more human. If that is how you experience beauty, the time to see ACB is now. The time to support ACB is now. Please consider a donation to ACB this year. I ask you for myself, for my fellow dancers, and for everyone who loves ballet, or is about to if I have anything to say about it. I'm immensely grateful for your support. Thank you so much from me and from everyone here at American Contemporary Ballet.